Let's find out how to do a print and cut with your Muto printer and Flexi. So what we're going to do is show you how to create your job, uh, add a contour cut line, and if you want to actually uh, make a, a knockout decal, you can uh, add a perf cut line. We'll show you how to do that. We're going to show you also the importance of setting the right speeds and pressures for both of those types of cuts. And then we're going to send it uh, to Production Manager and show you how to output the job. First, let me show you how to work with vectors and bitmaps and what the differences are and when you may need to use the Make Transparent capability of Flexi prior to adding your contour cut lines. All right, I've opened up a file here with a couple of different kinds of graphics in them that we're going to add contour cut lines to and perf cut lines to, but I want you to understand the difference between vectors and bitmaps and how they affect adding these cut lines. So these are vectors. This is a vector, the, the Nike looking thing here and the Bazinga, those are vectors. How can I tell that? A couple of ways. I can click on it and Design Central shows me that that's a path. There's no indication up here that that's a bitmap. Another really fast way is just to go over here to the left and turn the fills off. You can see it unfills for vectors, but the bitmap is left unaffected, so I know that's a bitmap. So that's that's vectors and that's bitmaps. Now the thing with bitmaps, and I'm going to just move this up here and zoom it up just so you can kind of see this. The thing with bitmaps is bitmaps are not the shape of, say, this boy in this instance. It's actually a rectangular shape. And that's important to understand because when you add a contour cut line like this, you can see that it's actually a contour cut line that's rectangular in shape and we want it to follow the shape of the boy. In order to accomplish that, what you're going to need to do on a bitmap like this is simply go to the bitmap menu and use what's called Make Transparent. Now it's pretty simple in this case because I can actually click on that white background back there and if I want to contour cut inside of the arm right here I need to hold my shift key down and select inside there too. And then when I apply that, when I click OK, what that does is that makes that white background invisible. So if I were to put something say like a star and put that in the back and move it behind this boy here, you, you'd actually see, be able to see the star now. So that white part of the bit back is not in the way. So that's going to be very important that you uh, learn how to make transparent on some of these graphics, uh, especially bitmaps, before you add your contour cut line. Now let's add some contour cut lines and perf cut lines. Muto makes it very easy to use perf cuts so that you can create these cutout decals like you see in this image. All right, now as I mentioned, these are two different kinds of files. We have vector images and a bitmap. So let's add a contour cut line to it and a perf cut line. First of all, we'll select the first item over here on the right hand side. I'm going to go up to effects and choose contour cut. And what Design Central does is allows me to make this a solid contour. We need to say contour cut. You can do rectangles, you can do uh, ellipses if you want, uh, but we're going to do the shape of the graphic like this. You set the width of the contour cut line here and decide if there's holes. In this case, it doesn't make much difference, but um, it could depending on the size of the contour cut. So if you want the holes, uh, like inside of the O or inside of an A or something like that, you need to turn that on. So we're going to say OK to that. All right, let's do the same thing with this one down here. And in fact, let's zoom up on that one real quick so we can just sort of see it nice and close, OK? We'll go to the uh, effects menu and choose contour cut line. And again, you can see the size of the contour cut line. For this one, I'm going to turn on the holes. I want you to look kind of right in this area right here because you notice as I get much smaller here, the hole shows up. See how it kind of shows up right there? So you just, that's why you want to turn on holes if you want those. And in the case of a solid decal or sticker, um, you may not want that. So just, just change it to whatever value you want. Click OK on it. OK. Now we're going to do the boy over here. And again, when I go to my contour cut, it's a rectangle because there's white bitmap in the way here. So on this particular item, I need to do something called make transparent. Just click the background in here, and I'm going to go ahead and click in, in the middle of the arm here if I want a hole right in there, and then choose a, Apply. And what that does is that kind of hides that background temporarily so that when you go to your contour cut now, it will in fact be the shape of the boy. 
So we'll click OK on there, all right? All right, now we've got all three of those now with a contour cut line on it. If we want to add a perf cut line, this is a line that's, a, that's going to go all the way through the vinyl, the adhesive, and the backing paper so that you can uh, tap out and kind of hand a customer a decal uh, or a sticker, okay? What we want to do there is we want to add another contour cut line. So I'm going to click on this one, and I'm not going to change my contour cut line here. I'm going to go back to the effects menu and add a second contour cut line. Now, since you're a Muto user, you've got some easy things to do here. I'm going to choose uh, this magenta. Whoops, wrong one. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm going to actually go backwards here. There you go. I'm going to actually choose a different color for my second contour cut line. doesn't make any difference what that color is. I'll just use red as an example and click OK. I'll explain this in a minute, but let's go ahead and add our perf cut line to all three of these. So in other words, just add another cut line and then choose a new color, whatever is easy for you to see. Be sure you apply that. By the way, you can make these, you know, zero. I, I could make the contour cut line right on the edge here. You know, like for instance, on this guy over here, right? Make sure you apply that. With this guy right here, what I could do is I could make that contour cut line zero if I wanted to. I mean, that, that number can be zero so that it's right on the graphic itself. Or I could even make it a slightly negative number so it's just inside. It's completely up to you. You choose whatever values you wish to put in there, okay? All right, so here I've got a contour cut line. I'm gonna go back to contour effects and add another one again, just like the other two, and I'm gonna make this one red, okay? Now, why did I make those three different colors? You're gonna see in a moment that it's important because I need to be able to adjust the pressures differently, and that's gonna make a difference. Your Muto uh, cutter makes it extremely easy to do this, and uh, we'll show you that in the very next lesson. It's important to set up the speeds and the pressure that's used for cutting both the contour cut and the perf cut. Let me show you how. All right, now that we have our contour cut and our uh, perf cut line set for this job here, uh, what I'd like to do is make some multiple copies of it. So to do that, the best way to do that, to, to get your layout right, is to use a function in Flexi called true shape nesting. Let me explain why. I'm going to make multiple copies here, but I don't want to do it like this where I'm making a single copy one after the other because there's a lot of wasted vinyl doing that, right? So let's grab all three of these and let's go to the Arrange menu and choose something called True Shape Nesting. I can tell it how many copies I want. I'm going to make six copies, okay? And give it some rotation order, a little space. I can use holes, it, like for instance, if there was uh, inside of an O, it might use the inside of an O for one of these decals, but I'm not gonna do that. Let's hit redraw to show you what happens. What Flexi's gonna do is make the copies and then rotate them and move them around in my vinyl here in the most advantageous manner. So I'm gonna click OK, yeah, that's what I want. See, we're actually making decals here that we're gonna pop out of the vinyl because it's a perf cut on there. So it doesn't matter. I wanna, I wanna use the least amount of material since I'm gonna be popping these out anyway. So that did a really good job, didn't it? Well, the next thing is, is when I actually send this job out, I'm gonna print and cut, but you may wanna take advantage of a great feature in the Arrange menu also, and that's found right here under Cut Order. Let me show you what a preview here does here. I'm just gonna click on Preview. This is actually showing me how the vinyl is going to be cut, how those contour cuts are gonna actually cut. And you can see that moved my knife blade way over here in the middle of my grouping you know, for cutting, and that's not what I wanna do. I, I wanna cut it in a more advantageous order, a more, a more even order. See, I don't want my knife blade moving all over the place like that because that's gonna cause uh, some skewing uh, in my vinyl cutter possibly. So let's fix that. Let's go back to the Arrange menu and Cut Order, and let's choose Reorder. So this actually shows you how the contours are going to cut. What I'm, I could manually set this, but I'm gonna actually tell Flexi, go in here and maximize the speed, optimize the cutting points, and click OK. And just that quickly, I've rearranged the cut order in my graphics. Let me preview it again. I'll show you what I mean here, right? I'm gonna go to Cut Order and Preview. Now it's gonna cut in a real neat fashion. See, it's gonna cut that first one there. So the knife blade didn't move very far, and it's getting ready to cut that, and after it finishes cutting that particular graphic, it goes one right next to it. This is preventing that skewing from happening when we send this out to my cutter. So this is 
probably a good time to use the uh, cut order in Flexi. Kind of a neat feature, nobody else has that. It's really good. Okay, so we want to output this job here. So I'm gonna to go to my wide format printer and click on that. And basically what you see here is you see the graphics that are gonna be printed. You see the contour cut lines, and you also see these little registration marks right here. Those are important because your vinyl cutter has a little electronic eye, and after you print your graphics and move, remove them from your MUTO, you're going to put maybe laminate or something like that. You're going to put it into your MUTO cutter, and it's going to use these marks to line up the cutter with the contour cut lines very precisely. Very, very nice uh, feature. One thing we probably want to do at this point is go over to the last tab up here at the top, and you're actually going to see a couple of cut lines here. Red, which is our perf cut, and contour cut, which is actually our uh, first cut that we want to do. That's actually the, um, the cut line that's just going to cut the vinyl. So the red is actually going to cut all the way through. The contour cut's going to cut the vinyl. You saw how I reordered those, right? I want to make sure that my contour cut cuts first, and my perf cut cuts last, right? So if that ever happens to you, you can always reorder it right here. But I don't want to use the same features. See, if I click edit and I'm using the same features, I'm using the same force for both, I'm using the same speed for both, that's not really a good idea because all it would do is cut the contour twice. You know, it'll, it'll cut the uh, contour normally, like it would cut through the vinyl, you know, and, and you could peel it off the backing but it would cut the perf cut with the same pressure and we don't want to do that. We want to go all the way through the backing with the perf cut. So what I'm going to do is click uh, uncheck this mark. I'm going to go to my second one called red here. That's my perf cut. Remember that's what we, we had. And I'm going to edit that and I'm going to tell, which is really nice about MUTO by the way. Watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go to this uh, drop down menu right here and just click on cut through. And they've preset the pattern. They've preset the force, they preset the speed, all the nice things that you would normally have to do, they've already done it. And all you gotta do is check, uh, click on uh, cut through right there. Click OK, apply to that and OK. And then what it's done is it's, it's telling Flexi, when you send this file and you get ready to cut that perf cut, slow down and put more force on the knife blade. More force than just the regular contour cut. So it's doing all that for you. Really great feature, really great feature. So here's a nice little uh, example here. So we're gonna send this, but I'm gonna put it on hold just to uh, show you in Production Manager what this looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna click on Send, and that's gonna go right over to Production Manager, and we're gonna show you exactly what it looks like in Production Manager. Finally, it's time to send the job to Production Manager and to set up that job on your cutter properly so that you can get good contour cutting. All right, so here we are in Production Manager. And on the left-hand side, or actually, let's look at the top first. Up here, you have your MUTO printer. Over here, you have your ValueJet cutter. And you can see these are separate jobs. Printing and cutting is a separate process. So we're gonna print first. And I just wanna point out, what's printing over here is not just the image, but actually the registration marks also. So you just start sending that to your printer. Uh, your printer's gonna run like normal, as you see here, and it's going to just uh, print out the images exactly the way you need it. Now, you wanna make sure that when you're finished printing and you pull that uh, vinyl off of your cut or your printer, you wanna leave about six inches on the back side of the, uh, the uh, print so that uh, you can make sure you have plenty of vinyl in there to cover those uh, sensors that are on your cutter so it doesn't uh, say you, know, you don't have enough vinyl in your cutter. So leave, leave about six inches on the back side or so. That's always a good practice. Then the next thing you're going to do is go to your, your uh, line it up in your cutter. Just uh, take your time and line it up as best as possible. Uh, you're going to go over to your actual cut uh, file right here and send that. And again, if there's any kind of directions or something like that, it'll actually tell you what to do. But it's a good idea to line up that knife blade carefully with the first uh, registration mark so that the electronic eye can find it. And it will find all four locations or whatever number of locations you've, you've put on that uh, graphic. And then after that's done, it will start cutting out your, your contour cuts first and then afterwards the perf cut. And once all that's done, you can just take that uh, graphic uh, you know out of your cutter if you want and just tap on it with your finger you ought to be able to just snap those uh, decals out 
and make yourself some nice money now. Really good job. I, if you paid close attention and practiced this, you're going to have a really good time with this feature. What's next? It's time to practice. Try a few simple print and cut jobs until you have the right settings like pressures and speeds. And work with a few bitmaps, add contour cuts. Remember to use color management with it for the best quality prints. Hey, it's just that easy with Flexi and Muto.